Learning never stops at Science Central. And it doesn't stop this morning either. We have Executive Director from Science Central, Martin Fisher, here yet again for Science Sunday. What are we doing today? We're going to do a very simple chemistry experiment. People can even try this at home. And it relates to our winter break science camps. Right around the corner, winter break, if you're trying to figure out what you want your student to do, go to our website and you can sign up for our programs. This is a very simple chemistry one. It does involve fire, so if you do it at home, make sure you have mom or dad or a guardian or a teacher or a scout leader to help out. Why don't we start off, why don't you go ahead and light this candle? Joe's going to be jealous. He wanted to play with the fire. We'll have you do the chemistry part, <laughs> All right. okay? I don't want there to burn you. So, step one, go ahead and light your candle. What we're going to do is we're going to make invisible carbon dioxide gas. Now, as you know, we need to have oxygen for the candle to burn. That's one of the ingredients for fire or combustion. So. I have baking soda over here. Why don't you go ahead and put two spoons of baking soda into that uh, plastic, or you could do it at home with a plastic or glass or ceramic cup. That's perfect, excellent. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of vinegar. When vinegar combines with baking soda, it's gonna bubble. I'll try to turn it sideways. Maybe the camera will see it. We'll certainly see it since okay. we're right here. And it, those bubbles are carbon dioxide gas. I'm then going to pour the invisible carbon dioxide gas, only the carbon dioxide gas into this cup, and then we're going to pour invisible carbon dioxide gas and see if our candle goes out. All right. We got a magic trick here. All right, this here is we magic. go. Here we go. So we'll put a, just a little bit, it only takes maybe a spoon or so, and you can see yeah, it's bubbling, it's it. boiling, or excuse me, it's bubbling, Most carbon definitely. dioxide gas is forming. I'm trying this to This is pour. where I'm a little skeptical, it's All right. invisible. It's Let's apparently see. there. So you can see, nothing okay. is in nothing there, right? Nothing is in there, nope. Let's see if this works. Wow. Oh Whoa, my gosh. It did. So we had invisible gas, carbon dioxide, that we poured in here, and we were able to put out the candle flame. This relates to some of the chemistry experiments that we're going to do in, in winter break science camp. As you can see, it's an easy science experiment to learn about combining two safe chemicals, creating carbon dioxide gas, and proving that it's there by putting out the candle. What ages do you suggest for the winter camp? They begin for the early learners. I believe it's age three. They only go for half-day programs, and then it goes up to age 13. Once they're 14 years old, if you're a 14-year-old or, or ninth grade, you can be a high school student volunteer at Science okay. Central. Believe it or not, it's actually how I started my career. Okay. High school volunteer at my local Science Center. It's pretty neat. You can do this stuff with just household items, too. This is it. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. And even the things that you need for mixing are safe. Plastic cups, plastic spoon. And because, as you know, I sometimes make a mess, <laughs> <laughs> I always have plenty of paper towels at home. So make and sure you get permission from your parents. We appreciate that, Martin. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. Here are the hours for Science Central today. It opens at noon on Sunday.